What's your name, boy? This your main man, Speedy. What kind of name is that for a nigga? Are you ready? We gonna get this show started, started. You ain't the smartest motherfucker in the world, you know. This is Speedy's company. Couldn't even know you is the ugly. May not be. Don't get it twisted. I'm a motherfucking pimp. <laughs> we might as well have some fun. They say Lewis got gay porn in his iPod. Oh, that's not nice. Kill yourself. Can you dig it? Yeah, I can dig it. You tried to be a little confident. And I just shot that down. I'm a real motherfucker. I mean, you know the rules of the game. I mean, your bitch just chose me. All pimps and players on the line. Look, I don't give a fuck about you. Fuck about you. Get out get there and get, get me my money. money. Yeah, she want to fuck with me, well, then she going to fuck with some pimps. And I had $35,000. 35, plus the one I gave you. And that made me six. And 35000 plus one plus six. And if you give me 15 more, motherfucker, can you buy that? that? She will. It's Speedy's Comedy Corner. Speedy, what's up with all your kids? I heard they call you Octoday. Ain't that a bitch? You're back now at the Jack Off Hour. This is DJ E. Z Dick. I'm gonna give the balls right now. Something new by Snoop Doggy Dog. And this one goes out to the ladies. Yeah. What the fuck happened? You're back oh, now shit. at the Jack Off Hour. This is DJ E. Z Dick. I'm gonna give the balls right now. Something new by Snoop. Somebody about to get fired. Are we on there? Yo, we on there. Speedy's comedy corner. And I'll be speedy up in this bitch. <laughs> Shit is fucking up. Motherfuckers going to get fired. <laughs> Welcome to the show. It's Wednesday, 7 on the West, 10 on the East. Uh, Sirius 106 XM 149. Phone number. Write it down now so you have to worry about writing it down later. 877-206-106 is the number to call into. Great show for you tonight. First things first, we got to get these things out. Um, this Friday, if you're in Los Angeles, we're going to be at the Conga Room live. The whole foxhole is going to be there from 5 to 8. If you live in Los Angeles, there's no cover charge. Come on out absolutely free. The address is 800 West Olympic Boulevard. That's 800 West Olympic Boulevard, and it's the Conga Room at L.A. Live. This Friday, the 16th, Come on out between 5 and 8. We're going to be there live. It's free. We got drinks and food. It's happy hour. And I know how black folks feel about drinks and food. Also, too, October 30th, we will be have a pre-Halloween celebration in Detroit City. Yes, at the MGM Grand, Grand Casino in uh, Detroit, Michigan. So come on out. And also, too, we, we, we're coming to Detroit. So we want you guys, when you come to the show, to uh, bring some jackets, some toys, uh, canned goods to give away. That way we can give it to those who don't have. So, so once again, you're going to bring some uh, canned goods and clothing and toys for little ones. For those who live in Detroit, uh, we're going to try to take care of y'all. So we got some uh, things we're going to be doing out there. So Foxhole Radio will be there live. That is October 30th. That's at the end of this month, right before Halloween, between 5 and 8 o'clock at uh 1777 3rd Street in Detroit, Michigan at the MGM Grand Casino. Yo, got a great show for you tonight. Tonight we're going to be talking about Mr. David Letterman getting his fuck on with the interns. <laughs> and we want to know. I mean, we're asking people out there. I mean, let me know your thought on this. Uh when someone accept and acknowledge their fault, should the penalty that they would have received be minimized? I don't know. I think he should still get the full tilt the fact he's fucking them little girls because he ain't the most handsomest motherfucker in the world. So I'm pretty sure he got to fuck somebody on the deal or they're fucking him on the deal. What does she look like? Anybody know? Is she cute? Cool. We're going to find out. 877-2106-106 is the number to call into Sirius 106 XM 149. Speedy's Comedy Corner. Uh, I'll be Speedy up in this bitch. So we're going to come back. That's what the show is about. Call in. And if you fucked your boss, we want to know. Louis Dix got a great story about his son cheating. <laughs> Dumb motherfucker. <laughs> we'll be right back. Yo, 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 yo. We back. It's your boy Speedy. Back on the microphone. Speedy's coming to corner and I'll be. Speedy. Uh, well, you know, I. Well, what the fuck? Well, we can try, can we but you know I'm not going to. Well, okay. It's got to be Speedy up in this place. <laughs> you know, I can't curse. So, I mean, Why you can't curse? Because. Because I'm not in my house by myself. <laughs> Public the, airways. What the fuck? Are you well, is there a demon in you or no, something? I just, I just don't <laughs> curse. Are you possessed or something? No, I just try to, you know, not to curse. For not saying what? I don't. Well, within my entertainment 
part of me. I choose not to. Because I've far seen as, you cuss, Louis. Well, I mean, I'm an adult. Yes, there are times that I, if you have kids and you've been married, you have cursed. Okay, let's just be but honest. you're not married So you more. must cuss a Leave lot you have a lot of kids. Did you take down the wedding picture? Huh? He <laughs> probably still got him up with no, a shrine around No, I don't have any. I don't have, that's hilarious. But 877 no. 106 is the number you're listening to, uh, that to, to call into. Are you listening to Speedy's Comedy Corner, Series 106, XM149, in the house, Lou Deasy. Hey, it's good to be here. Welcome back, Thank Speedy. you, Louis. Like and to- also, too, in the house. <laughs> <laughs> cut him off. <laughs> Always cut him off. I'm going to start calling you K-Love. Okay. Because, you know, the other name is cool, but it's... Too long? Yeah. <laughs> Tell him who's in the house, baby. This is Kanika, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I want to kind of name. You want me to say Caleb? Yeah. I'm not no, going to no, call no. myself Caleb. I'll do that. But you just you see saying Kanika. <laughs> That's one of the kind of names where you had to go fill out the application. You couldn't call in and go, hi, this is Kanika Johnson. <laughs> no, we're not hiring Kanika. But Con- our last name is Conright, so it's kind of like, uh, you, yeah. get, you get thrown a little bit. You're like, yeah. ah, it could be Wasp. Maybe Tell not. them what you do, baby. I own a Tybo studio in Tarzana, California. You guys come on down and see me. Yeah, you Looking kind of, yeah. Yeah, she's got the leather top on. We'll just describe well, the it. The sleeves are missing. Yeah, they're on, they're you know, on layaway. You always have to show yeah, guns no, no. just so everybody can see. But so, so what is the leather top for? You just want to keep because your chest warm, your, fuck your arms? No. So you got like chill bumps and a heat rack. Yeah, it's you a little. Right? <laughs> Y'all ain't going to sit here and get on me That's like that. I'm just saying. I mean, you like a little look at me, look at me. I'm not, you know, you a little I'm power still young. Look to you. I'm still you know young. What? Look at me. I'm fresh. Kind of like that. Or are you yeah, she's trying. She's trying. Not too hard. That works, though. Not too but for those who don't know, for those who don't know, you ran track at USC. I sure did. Go at, at what level? At what level? I've gone all the way up to pro. Up to pro track. Pro what? Could you pro be a little more vague? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh! So when you run, when you go above, above just regular co- collegiate level, and you get paid to do what you do, professional track professional. runner. Professional. So how much okay, did you? So, how much so did you? Make? The where same you run? person that graduated from Gremlin, right? Go ahead. What was your <laughs> how much did you make? She told me. <laughs> Who are you sponsored by? Uh, Puma. I'm Nike? not sponsored no, by anybody time, anymore. It was Nike. So Nike. Did you get all the free Nike you Mm-mm. wanted? You know what? They, they That's not how it works. They give you a certain portion. Like, they'll give you maybe $5,000 of just merchandise. Okay. They got really cheap towards the end. So, what, like, what, what? So, oh, you must have ran slower. <laughs> <laughs> but, but what, 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 no. what event? What event? What event? So, so are, you t- hold on. are you telling me you can outrun Louis Dix? You know what? Even with a torn Achilles tendon, yes, I can. Well, you wow. can believe whatever she can, I mean, can women we put a, should can, feel that Can we make confident. that happen, Louis? Yeah, her and Claudia. Why don't you, you know her what? and Claudia race? So, hold on. Let's do this. Let's say y'all race. What if you lose, Louis? I'm not Lewis. losing. I don't lose to girls. L- I've Lewis lost to lose, one girl. And this will be the second one you lose to. Just no, know that. No, I'll save those. We're going to bring that later. Else, All yeah. right, so today okay. we're talking about <laughs> David Letterman. He's fucked. He fucked the intern. And uh, apparently, you know, everybody's trying to brush this thing under, under the table. He's trying to move on. He's saying, hey, I admitted to it. Can I move on? So can he move on? Will we let him move on? Lou, uh, 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 K-Love, give me what you got, man. What you have written down? Jesus. I mean, what you have highlighted? I'm sorry. Come on, pro. <laughs> <laughs> what part did you want me to read? <laughs> we'll get oh, to Lord that. Lord have mercy. All right, girl. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Louis. Tangerine. No, I'm just kidding. You know what? Not today. In the rain. <laughs> All right, but no, what? <laughs> Let me step in. Uh, no, so Letterman, of course, he, he, he yes. tapped this little girl who was working for him. He and tapped a couple of them. Well, he had affairs. And also, now what happened was once he admitted it, then they tried to extort money, which was interesting because this cat, they tried to extort money from him. Um, he <laughs> Why did you go for $2 million? That's what I'm But here's the you thing. Know what the I guy, he worked for like 30 years. He's been in the business. So Apparently, like he ain't seen $2 million. He didn't have any money. I mean, come Look, on. At what point did he go, 500000 Nah. <laughs> nah. Fuck that. He might have that. Do you it's think the times, girl was man. in on it with what, him? What if I asked? No. For, what if I asked for a million? I don't think so. What if I asked for a million? Why would she? Why would she be in on that when she can have? When she already has the big kahuna himself? Yeah, and she was getting two hundred thousand a year Herself. to keep fucking him. Okay. So uh-huh. why would so she the, go in with him? Yeah. And plus, so when they went out on the family, they but, went to Hawaii. Was, it, was it every time she did it to him? She got two hundred or just no? She, no. she was on Monthly payroll for two hundred. Right. Somebody add that up for me. What is that a month? And how many year? times did she have to do it to him? Oh my god! On call, baby. What she is on. Call. Hey, Paul come here! I need you to type something. Personal. Close that door. It's. it's no, I think she, that's nasty. She, she's a garden tool. You I know. Mean, I mean, after she graduated in two thousand eight, look, he offered her a job as 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 his personal lawyer. Are you yeah, kidding me? Yeah, right. See, that's what's nice though. If you can get a fine, smart girl. No, no, they're who never can fine. Add to you. They're never fine. Yeah, she's not oh, cute. Oh, yeah, well, she's cute. Like, and some part of her's cute. Well. Eight seven seven two one zero six one zero six is the number to call into. We want you to call in. Let us know if. 
Now, now, Lou, to, to bring this full circle, you was talking about your son. I, and I have an 11th grader. Yeah. Now, keep in mind. And, and tell him what happened. And what happened was we got a call from his dean. And uh, he was taking a history test. Oh, so we got a, a H H Dub alumni here, so he's going to totally understand it. Uh, the answers were a little too similar. And then they called him in, and they said, "You want to tell us about the test?" And he said, uh, "He fessed up and said, yeah, I.'" I, I just... Now, because he fessed up, he fessed up to you. Mm -hmm. You said his punishment would have been more had he not. Yes, yes. So his mom and I got together and talked and decided so his, what we're going to do. Whatever. With him. And, so, you know. so, that, and that's the, that's basically the gist of the question is. Is because your son admitted, and because uh, Letterman admitted and acknowledged what was going on, it seems like nobody's really trying to make anything of it. And you, and you were a perfect example because your son, had he not said nothing, he just rolled it on out. Well, if my son had called and told me that he had, or a dean had said he had slept with some of the deans, the girls, then I was like, hey, way to go, Lou. Really? That was but the fact that you, okay. and your son, no, it was, it, it, it bothered me. It, got, it tell, bothered me one that. And then he asked me, had a nerve, you know, kids will be kids or young people, and he asked me, of course, you know, have you ever cheated? You know, and what I, the fuck? I, you know, How can he ask you any question? You're the well, father. he's 17. He can ask a legitimate no, question like no, that. Wait and a minute. Y'all know y'all both cheated while you were in school. Why no, are no, we no, even? Oh, not, I cheated. No, no, give see, me wrong. Hold on. Not, hold on. I cheat, Lewis, I cheated, but I knew to change one answer. <laughs> Your son don't know the game. But I, he no, don't know Tell the him game. to call me. I didn't answer that <laughs> question. That's what you do. School him, man. Yeah. School him. You, you, you chop, copy them all down, and you make sure you miss one or two on the motherfucker like you normally would. Well, the issue don't get them all right. And last week you got them all wrong. Right, <laughs> well, don't ask right, me that right. question anyway, because that's not the issue. The issue is that you cheated. Because of course his mom, he asked his mom. Well, no, mom that's, admitted. The, that's not what we're talking about. The issue is the issue is that you bought the punishment down because he confessed and acknowledged that he was wrong. As I told him, that was the only saving grace. Okay, so that's what we want to know. Eight seven seven two one zero six one zero six is the number. Is because somebody tells you, "Hey, man, I was wrong. I did this wrong." Do you say, "Oh, it's all cool," or do you still want to give them the full tilt? Fuck that. You get it all. He's Go still ahead, got a Kale. weapon. Go ahead, weapon. Kayla. You know what? Let's get, let me give you the shorter version of what actually happened. Please and do. basically three weeks earlier, back in September, a package was left um, on in Letterman's car. And ba yeah, no, that's what I would have thought, too. <laughs> but basically. How did he get in the car? No, here's the first thing. That's nothing was left in Letterman's car. It was left in his driver's car. Oh, yeah, my bad. Okay. Yeah, so it was oh, well, thanks for the correction. Yeah, it was driving his car up there. It said it was a package left in his car with material <laughs> Stay right that, on that basically microphone. said, huh? Stay right on the microphone. Thank you. Right. That says just that, like um, ooh. Yeah, you got it. I'm just telling you. Just yeah. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, she was a pro at that. <laughs> <laughs> she did open wide. I'm telling you. All right, you. go ahead. Okay. <laughs> okay, and basically in it was a screenplay and... It was, it was a screenplay written by him and said it, that he would write a, a screenplay and a book if Letterman did not pay him $2 million. Wow. wow. So they ran a sting mm -hmm. to get him caught, and he got caught. Mm -hmm. so, so in a sense, Letterman came out on top because dude kind of blackmailed him on this. 877-2106-106 is the number. Out of Ohio, we have Plug on the phone. <laughs> Plug, what's up? <laughs> these niggas is creative yeah, with these names. What it do, man? What you think, dog? Man, I got a real nigga story about fucking your boss. Uh oh, your uh -oh. boss? Shit. Go ahead. Check this out, man. I had this chick, man, that uh, bought a bunch of raggedy ass houses, right? You know, older white lady and shit. You know, her and her husband, man, make crazy money, man. Six figures times through the four. You know what I'm saying? So, uh -huh. anyway, you know, I meet her and shit, man. She makes me work for her, pays me. You know what I mean? Well, she be eyeballing the nigga up and down and shit, right? Uh -huh. So one day, I'm over at the house working, and she's like, uh, I want to take you to my house and show you how something's done so you can duplicate that here, right? Wow. Cool. I goes over there, right? She's like, well, let me show you around. I goes around the house and shit, you know, and she bumping all up against me, you know, trying to brush up against my shit, right? So I get the chick up in the kitchen. She's looking at all my eyes. She's like, what you want me to do? You know what I'm saying? So I do what any red-blooded nigga would do, man. I'm like, you know, shit, I'm buckling my pants and shit, man. I'm like, yo, check this out, you know? So uh, anyway, all right, plug, plug. Yeah, yeah this uh, is getting shit, mad, hold, hold on. I want to hear your little well, no, plug. The question was, <laughs> if your son did something wrong or your daughter, and they came to you right off the top and said, hey, I did this, I, my bad, I fucked up, do you shorten? How? What kind of punishment you would have put on them, or do you still give them the full tilt? 
I mean, shit, I gave her the full tilt, man. That was the one. <laughs> <laughs> you nigga stupid. Yo, man, right when the chick hit me off, man, my wallet fell out my pocket and shit. All right. Thank you, Plug, for the phone call. <laughs> We're going to unplug you, nigga. <laughs> Why? Let me ask where you a question. Why, why, why are we at a point where we will call strangers and tell them about things that is Lewis, so private? We like hearing that kind That's of shit. Nasty. I like hearing I mean, when niggas fuck. He's just too old. He should be playing a I game like or, or educating the kids. I don't want to know something. a nigga got something. Fuck you. No, that's nasty. Eight seven seven two one zero six one zero six is the number to call into. Plug had it fucked up. What we're asking, <laughs> once again, is the fact that David Letterman stepped up and said, "Hey, I was wrong. I fucked up. I shouldn't have did this, that, and the other. Should we give him a break?" If you're a kid, just like Lewis son, he said, Dad, I cheated. I was wrong. Bam. Lewis shortened his sentence. Otherwise, he would have got punished for how long, Lou? Uh, you've been down for a good. Uh, well, depends now, on how many now, answers. Now, when you, you say punish, what, what the fuck was the punishment? You shut him down for a month. I know. Like what? Shut down, shut down is you in your room. You, you got come the, eat? Nigga, the TV in the room. No, no, no. TV's not in the room. You, your kids ain't got no TV in the room? No. Nigga, my son got a flat screen. He five. Well, that's why. He, and then you'll, he'll be at a junior college. <laughs> that a bitch. <laughs> I'm, just I'm just kidding. I mean, I hope not, but he'll be. <laughs> wow. I mean, I mean, they, I mean, come on. You're watching your son. Five, wow. honestly, five years old with a TV in his room? He, come on. Hey, ask me for it. I mean, seriously, it should be a local, a central place where the family watches TV. But a computer and a TV in a kid's room? Nah. Just, nah he, got, he got He got. He got video does games. that these days? The, he loses Parents. Louis Jones. Parents. Lewis I'm a old. great parent. Yeah, okay. Eight seven seven two one zero six one zero six is the number. We got some new people just came in. Kevin in the house. Y'all, y'all know Kevin. Tell me who you are, pimp. Uh, Kevin Parker, producer of shows like Wow. He's not. He's not uh, Monique Parker. And by boyfriend. the way, an H Dub alumnus Absolutely. from where my son goes to school. I did not cheat when I was there, though. But he knows did how you difficult. Try to cheat? Did you try to cheat? I did not cheat while I was there. But yeah. had you cheated, you would have known to switch up or, or fuck up one or two answers. I don't even know how to. And cheat. Tell him what kind of school, school that is. That's I hate a, you. Seriously, it's a it's a, it's very, a really good private school out here. Very powerful. Yeah, so fuck that school. Of, you know, he, also he in the house. Tell who's in the house, though. Frank Holder, Humor Mill Magazine. One of the top magazines. You probably get the emails 24-7. I get them all the time. I spoke to Frank today. Yeah, Frank. Out. So tell them about the magazine, man. Well, magazine is about urban comedy, black entertainment. What we do is we highlight comics. We highlight people in the black comedy world and basically also in the entertainment industry. And we just show out and showcase everything that's going on hey, I'm not in, in the it. entertainment industry. You, we just haven't got a chance to connect. Because you, know, <laughs> you know you were always saying, uh, let's do Tuesday. Frank, yeah, you Tuesday? just yeah. got the tour. You, I did. All right, you, come on, you fell also, off. Also, too, a friend of mine in the house used to live in Seattle. Cause she, you got to get right on that microphone. You got yeah, you to put your hey, lips on it. Yeah. it's Chris Dow. Yeah. Tell me what you do. I'm a promoter. You're going to chew on the mic. Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead, Chris. I wasn't ready. I'm a promoter out of Seattle. All right. So she's kind of hanging out. And so so what, what, what is, what, end? So she just promotes air or? No, comedy shows. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah. She finished the show. She would say other things, yeah. but we're going to leave it at that. Hilarious. Are you <laughs> yeah, for the humor over there, Frank? <laughs> so, okay. so the question we're going around to ask is because of what, you know, you guys heard about Letterman, the whole thing. And should we give him a break? Should whatever's going to happen to him be lessened because he stepped forward and said, hey, you know, this is what I did. I apologize. I apologize to my wife. Or should it just be like, fuck that? Well, the question also should be, you know, being that he's a comic, is he getting a better break because he's a comedian and I he's on so. TV? I or think so. Or if he was a regular actor, how would we, you know, be reacting to him? Well, no. the thing is, I don't think nobody could really come down on him because whatever he's doing, pretty much everybody's doing. Everybody's mm -hmm. fucking assistants and, and neighbors and... Uh, uh, friends of friends and all that other kind of shit. So, you know, go ahead. Reality of the situation is no one's going to remember in four weeks. Yeah, that's true. And it was also a gimmick for TV. Oh, Let's shit. be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Let's be honest. It was a gimmick for TV for the ratings because if it had been anybody else in any other time and they didn't have a TV show, well, I don't think it was honest. a. I don't think it was a gimmick. I think that uh, really, the it happened. You know what? If you up. if you frame your horrible situation and don't let anyone else do it. It happens, it, and then it's forgotten about. Like, well, Lewis isn't going to remember this. You get in, you in get in and get out, and leave it alone. All right, uh, also in the house. My bad. I didn't look over here to my fucking uh, whatever <laughs> left shoulder this is. Uh, Angel Gaines is in the house. Tell me what you do, baby. Hi, I'm Angel Gaines. Get close on that, bike. Oh, Angel right. Gaines. I like comedian. the blouse being open. That's Thank a great you. move. Thank you. You'll be on the show next week. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Go ahead, baby. Yeah, just a comedian here to check everybody out. Have a good time. Where are you from? You from I'm from LA. Savannah, Georgia, originally. Live Is in there LA comics in Savannah? Well, I guess I'm not now. I'm also an elementary it. school teacher. <laughs> wow. Teach special education. Wow. So, so when the kid, if a kid comes up and he confess whatever he did, mm -hmm. do you give him a break? Yes. 
So you don't give them the full tilt Extra if they keep lying. Extra credit for honesty always. Really? Extra credit for honesty. So but then, my then, what, then what's the punishment for doing wrong? Well, if, that's if, just look at it like this. Look at it like this. If I do something wrong, as long if I know in my mind, if I step forward and go, "Hey, I fucked up. I did this that, and the other," then y'all not gonna give me the full blow. That's called being a Catholic. But, but, but. <laughs> no, I mean there's it, 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 there's reputation and honor. Is there there's behavior and then there's reputation and honor. So when you step up, you at least have honor. You have to do the con- consequences. Mm-hmm. But if you lie about it, then you lose your reputation. Mm-hmm. Well, this is what I used to do with my kids. When they live with me, my son's older son's. Instead of me asking questions that I probably knew the answer to, like you walk in and the cookies all gone, why would you walk in and ask the kid who ate the cookies? You don't even motherfucking ask. Right, right. right. So when I was a kid, my mom asked me that. I figured, well, she must don't know. Why should I tell her? I don't know who ate the motherfucking cookies. So I would walk in and go, I know y'all ate the cookies. You are gonna get a whooping? Let's keep it moving. Now nobody has a chance to lie. You can't stand there and go, no, I need to. No, I forgot. I already said you ate them, so we gonna move on with. But it. what if they didn't eat it? They're the only ones in the house, Lewis. It could have been somebody could have came in and robbed the cookies and took them. Man. <laughs> oh my god! That's the excuse I used to say. Somebody yeah, came in and took the <laughs> Bro, cookie monster went on a burglary. He went to a junior college. <laughs> All right, on the phone out of Nebraska, we got Mark on the phone. What's up, Mark? Oh, how, how you doing? Hopefully, you understand the question. Go ahead, dog. Okay, yeah, I got the question, man. You know, I did a fair time before, right? And, they, and, and the federal system, they got something what they call a responsibility. Okay. And that, that ease up on your sentence. So anytime you accept responsibility for something wrong, it automatically, you know, lighten the load just a little bit. I still have to do my time, but I still I got a little less time for accepting my responsibility for my crime. So let me make sure I got this. This happened when you got to the prison or when you got to the court system? In the court system. So you go in front of the judge, you say, hey, I did it, my bad, I really did this shit. I Which saves them right. money because they don't have to do all that prosecuting shit, right? Right, exactly. The same way with, the, same way with your kids. I mean, you got to go through all of that. Just, hey, if you did it, let me know. And, and, you know, I might still, you know, I, you still go get punished, but maybe it won't be as severe as you sitting around, you know, trying to beat around the bush. You know what I'm but, saying? But, so, but, but don't you see where that could be like, in the sense of, here's the next kid going, all I got to do is step forward, look like I'm really sad and, and I really you know, won't do it again, and I can at least get away with it three more times before somebody really come down on me. Yeah, that, you know what? That's exactly. No, I was going to pick no, you. No, oh, go ahead. No, I'm sorry. No, no. You know, well, you know, you see, the, the key to it is they still got to be punished. They okay. still got to be punished, but the severity of the punishment is, is where you have to use discretion. Hey, what's because he's stuff for. <laughs> hey, what? Hey, Mark, how are you? All right, brother, how you doing, man? Hey, I'm I what? you catch all the time, man. I'm on my Thank I'm you, man. from Detroit. I'm from Detroit. I'm on my way back from the uh, from uh, uh, Salt Lake City. I'm a truck driver, so uh, I'm be looking forward to seeing y'all. I'm gonna come back just to see y'all in Detroit when y'all come. Oh, well, you know what, Mark? We're excited about that. Everybody's gonna be there. TDP, Claudia, Poetus. So if you have some. Um, Marijuana, bring it for poetess. <laughs> Hilarious. And uh, but hey, thanks. And B, are you on the road? You a trucker? Hey, Why are you man, moving your arm? Right now. I don't even <laughs> <play> <laughs> this motherfucker here. Thank you, dog. Thank you. I'm gonna be careful out there, this man. Motherfucker, this motherfucker. This motherfucker moving his arm. arm going, are you a trucker? Like he can see you. <laughs> I'm just. I'm sorry. You sure man. you went to college, man? <laughs> hey, man. I just, that's, uh, I'm a visual are learner. Are you a pro? I'm a yeah. visual learner. Hey, where'd you go to college? So no mistake, but I'm a visual learner. Did you graduate? Did you walk? Yes, but I'm a visual learner. What's your major? What was your major? Theater arts. Get the mm, fuck out of yes. here. Yes. I was my first I was gonna uh, become a ma- a physical therapist, but I couldn't handle the science. T- you're gonna touch another dude. Uh, that's what no, my major is. No, no, not touch another dude. You just work with handicaps and you help them their range of motion, different things, but I I was too <laughs> forward with handicaps. They would yeah. sp- he, he was walking up to her going, You can move your arm. <laughs> right. <laughs> you do it. No, I would. I would I know it's jokes. short, but move it. <laughs> He's in a wheelchair as a yeah, crush. My man was like, You need to go on somewhere else with that. Eight seven seven two one oh six one oh six is the number to call into. Just in case you was wondering what the uh, guy in Detroit was talking about. Uh, Foxhole Radio will be live in Detroit October 30th at the MGM Grand. So we want everybody that lives in Detroit or in the surrounding area to come on out. Uh, it's absolutely free. And bring a gift. Bring canned goods. Bring clothing. Bring toys that we can give out to people. And uh, it's going to be totally off the chain. So uh, get in there. Boy, get in. Get oh, in, get man. In. See, uh, I, Jeff, move on. Uh, Frank, come on this side. Yeah, Corey, hilarious. Right All right. So 8772. 106, 106 is the number for those who was hating. A lot of people was hating and thought I got rid of my nigga. I know. And and the thing is, me and Corey go back a long fucking way. This shit we do on the radio is just having the fun 
And for some reason, motherfuckers take this shit like it's the real, like, they gonna not ever let Corey come on the radio <laughs> ever fucking again. Right. Fuck Speedy. Fuck Foxhole. I'm like, what the? These niggas don't have a light. How you doing, Corey? Hogan? What up, man? <laughs> See, what they didn't realize, what every, what happens is they was Where like worried about at? Rodney Perry the head, and Corey. <laughs> what happens is these guys went on to be stars. No, they didn't. Yeah, y'all, they on TV. <laughs> no, they didn't. And we're, and we're still here. You ain't star that Monique we're show. I see that I know, that's rough, but that's, that's all right. But Corey's on the Cleveland. Sometimes you got to know when to turn shit down. So you got to go, you know what? What's he doing on the Monique show? You ain't see that shit? You ain't see it? He's playing James Brown. They said the first show, her first episode, they said the first episode she screamed the whole time. Oh, the the God. third, the fourth, yeah. the well, fifth. Was Rodney Perry like the dude in the beginning? It was like now nah, here. Oh, he's a he's a uh, who did I just die? Uh, Ed McMahon. He's Ed McMahon. He's he a get a spot on the couch, or is he still like no. behind? I just saw curtain. Rodney dancing with a wig on, and I was yeah. like, oh. but you know what? I, hey, but he on TV. Here's the thing. Anyway, Corey, another note. Corey, welcome job, back, dog. What up, man? And tell him, Corey, we don't have no beef. Nah, we ain't got no beef. Nah, nigga, nigga niggas, they thought they I said, don't read the boards. I ha- no, someone sent it to me. <laughs> they like, I don't read that shit either. That motherfucker's a send it to me. Or somebody will call and go, and I know they got to go, uh, Speedy? <laughs> and I go, hey, yeah, the Speedy. Hey, dog, uh, is Corey coming back? I'm like, no, what the no, fuck? No, 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 it ain't, it ain't nothing like that. We, You know what I'm saying? It's a radio you, show, you nigga. On, you yeah. on the road doing your thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But they love your dirty draws, nigga. Oh, okay, cool. I, I don't cool. know what that means. I heard you say something about Detroit. Uh, yeah, we're going to be in Detroit live, man. We're doing the show live. Ain't nobody in Detroit. <laughs> ah, been there, huh? It's left Detroit. Yeah, Eight, seven, seven. How many people came to your show? Man, it was zombie land. <laughs> <laughs> the mall got yeah, it. Was... Eight... So, so uh, uh, Corey, we're talking about what happened to David Letterman and the fact that he upped and said, hey, man, this is what I did. I was wrong. I shouldn't have did it. If someone comes to you, if they let's say somebody run into your car, and you come downstairs and they go, look, man, I'm sorry. I ran into your car. I ain't got no money, whatever, but I did fuck up. Do you just let them roll or are you trying to give them no? No, motherfucker, you going to jail. Well, with the David Letterman thing, didn't he get um, what, what a girl thing? try to blackmail him, right? No, not her. her the boyfriend. dude tried to, Yeah, the dude tried to blackmail him. Oh, the but, girl's boyfriend tried to blackmail yeah, him. Right. So he, how does that work? He doesn't get any money. I mean, he ain't got no pussy. <laughs> His girl got out. So yeah. he tried to blackmail him. If you work with someone like a David Letterman, I'm saying like in any job, if y'all work together all the time, there's a chance y'all can fuck around. It's just what happens at the workplace. It's just would you fuck your employees? Yeah, if I I'd fuck my employees, if I had a, <laughs> if I had a company, how else they gonna get hired? I mean, oh. like, uh, you're yeah. supposed to use your power. You know, that's people, what people and, do. And, all and that's the another thing. They think on on Facebook that I have people on the radio that I'm fucking. Ooh, have I ooh. fucked anybody? That, no. Well, well, all not, these girls are under like your weight don't, class. So I you don't want to throw it out like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if if all, you put all three of them together, you'd be on them. Oh. <laughs> you going to let that one go? Like, so anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, when I'm people curious. work together. like The way this came up. Hold on. Hold that thought. The way this came up was Lewis' son got caught cheating on a test. This nigga copied word for word. Verb- he didn't put dude's name on his test. No, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so Lewis said because his son stepped up and said, hey, dad, I cheated. My bad. Lou kind of shortened down what he what his punishment would have been. Do you think that's cool, or would you you roll along with that as well, Corey? I think it just depends on uh, his relationship with his son. You know your kids better than anybody. If they if they some bullshit motherfuckers, you know. But if yeah. they the type of kid that might have fucked up and been like, man, I fucked up. I'm not going to beat him upside the head forever because he fucked up. I'm going to be like, all right, now you know that shit was fucked up. <laughs> and if you live that way in life, it's going to catch back up yeah. with you. Yeah. If but- I feel like he really has remorse and all that, and only he know because it's his yeah, son. Yeah, and he's right. He felt a little bad, but like I told him, I did do the same thing. I, I plucked him upside the back of his head on the way home. You didn't give him the slap or you no, plucked? Just plucked? No, just No, Lou, you got to get in there. Nah, just, get one in, <laughs> nigga. Always <laughs> give, like, you know I what I do? I always get one in. Yeah, just come on in. Motherfucker, I'm doing plucked, this shit. I plucked him twice. embarrass me, nigga. I plucked him twice and he looked right, at me. And I'm about like, you, right? Yeah, it's about because I had to go. you. I had to go down to town. I mean, the receipt of high. My son, I said, hey, nigga, what the fuck? I'm sorry. Boom. You get him right there in the hallway. <laughs> no, I I plucked him twice. Then, he then when he go me. back to school, his, son, his friends are like. <laughs> no, he looked at me hard, and then I, I just said character. He looked at you hard. No, he, after I plucked him, he looked at me like, what? And I was like, character. We talked character. about that. You character. Yeah. I'm, I'm curious no. to know if Corey ever had to give a David Letterman type apology. Hell I wouldn't. No. It wouldn't go down like that with me. I wouldn't go down. It, it's like David Letterman comes across a certain way, but he's not that way. So he had to apologize for acting like he's the way he acts. 
if he was what you are, if, if people expect that from you, you right it, w- it wouldn't be yeah. a big deal. Yeah. Um, like that's a if Howard Stern was he fucking some of his right. employees, I mean, what would they say? He have women get naked on the fucking show just to be on the show. It's like this. You have you ever fucked a comedian you worked with? Yeah, and answer truthfully. Yeah, I, I have, and it's never you been did? good. An uh, opener? It's never been good. Because <laughs> they got mad. Female comedians are the worst people to fuck with like that. Don't do it if Why? you're a male comic. Wow. Because they needy. They're yeah. trying to get on, and you use that to work for you. 8772 106. The, the need don't go away. The they still be fucking coming. Corey's in the house on I the phone. I can't use the pussy in Pittsburgh. Hey, bitch. <laughs> this Cleveland, nah, bitch. <laughs> we got out of Houston, Texas. We got CJ's on the phone. CJ, talk to me, man. CJ, you there? No, he moved on. All right, cool. Uh, on the phone out of uh, somewhere. We got Christian on the phone. What's up, Christian? All uh, right, Christian ain't there either. We got to work on our phone service. This is, uh, this is the bullshit. They must be calling from Detroit. No phone Christian, line. are you there? Speedy. Yo, what's up, Christian? Yeah, I can hear you. What's going on, man? Hey, you need a new landline. Oh, that's Christian, NBA brother. Oh, what's up, Christian? Yeah, we won this weekend. What's Bust up, Bust him up. Who's Corey, you on our team? Good, you on our team? You gave him, uh, you gave him a little damage on Saturday. Yes, sir. Tell, uh, tell yeah. me what's going on, dog. Well, we got the uh, ESPN Zone Live Sports and Entertainment League going on at Hacks every Saturday. And... um Fox by Adidas. Nick, are you babysitting? <laughs> Again? Or are you recruit? Chris, how I get on the squad, Nick? You on our squad. All right, I hear you. Yeah, Corey, where you at, man? You supposed to come out and play. I will. He's yeah, on Corey, the squad. I need to get back in shape real bad. Yeah, you fluffy right hey, now. Hey, but now, <laughs> listen up, Christian. We bust up Brian McKnight's team. Yeah, we'll get to that later. And we beat him so bad, his show got canceled. Huh? Oh, did his show get canceled? His show, yeah. his show did not get oh, canceled. Oh, wow. Well, because I know they ain't paid me. <laughs> oh, we got canceled off Time Warner. What did you do on it? No, the round table. The round table. They tried to do a Byron Allen thing like with comedy. Oh. They asked me Except about women funny. at a round table. Hilarious. <laughs> the what? <laughs> they asked me about women at a round table. I saw that. Oh, that hilarious. was funny. That was good it was stuff. Over. All right. Uh, so, so tell them what it is again, Christian. Like I said, ESPN Zone Sports Entertainment League going on in the hacks every Saturday. Uh, we got some of the biggest stars and, and uh, ex-athletes around. Uh, Mark Jackson, Brian McKnight. Um Foxhole staff, all you guys out there. So it's a lot of fun. Uh, Clipper, Clipper giveaways, ESPN Zone gift cards. We're doing it all. Yeah, we got Clipper seats. You can sit right with the team. Hey, the old, <laughs> hey yeah, you yeah, play well enough on Saturday. You can play the Clippers on Sunday. Your yeah. team win, you can possibly get in the game. You, you get to sit by uh, Blake Griffin and buzz one of them pimples on his head. And, and, and tell him the ladies, you ladies can come out because there's still some actors who barely, you know, still getting residual checks. You can take that. Oh, yeah. All right, thank you, Christian. We got to get out of here. Come on through. Stars. I saw Robin Gibbons up there like, ain't no money up here. <laughs> 877-2106-106 is the number to call in to. If someone apologizes, sincerely apologize, do you lessen how you come down on them? Uh, we're going to ask our little panel here. We did ask you already. And uh, uh, we'll go, we did you already. We did. Corey, you answered. Right, but what if they apologize for the fifth time for the same thing? That's what I said. <laughs> when do you put the foot to that ass? Right. Go ahead, Caleb. Well, you know, let me. Because you have a son. How old is your son? My, I have an 11-year-old and I have a 7-year-old. You got two? I have two. You Same fuck, dad? You fucking like that? Same dad. You okay. waited four years? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? My, my husband was a baseball player. Oh, that's so the game. That's the game. Okay. What number was it? We'll go with that. Tw- it depends on what team. Which team he was on? Call he was on several teams. Team, zero, zero, bat boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you he's wish. There, he was over there flagging flag, but fly, Dodgers, fly balls. <laughs> Dodgers, number 22, Cubs, number 14. There you go. What's his name? Fuck that. I don't know. Brock. Who? We Tark don't, Brock. Lou Brock? Lou you married Lou Brock? Brock? He was in the Cubs. Yeah. Hold on, hold Center on. fielder for the Cubs. Tog? Tarek Brock. Yeah, you can Google it. That's ahead. real good. That's your right husband? Tarek? Yeah. He's, not, he's now with the Marlins. He's a coach. Oh, yeah. that's great. That's he's great. He's a third base coach. Run, nigga, run! <laughs> Hold some, it, hold it. He that so you got some backup money. <laughs> in this case, it's no really work. We're doing this for fun. <laughs> <laughs> now, how long you guys been married? 14 years. Good for you. Where's your ring? I don't wear that. What? Are you guys still married? Because I'm always doing no, Tybo. Just, I can't no, just. Great answer. Yeah, no. I know, I know. Great fuck. Yeah, See, Lewis, your wife should have had that answer. What? She just <laughs> took the ring <laughs> off, nigga. She was doing Tybo. I just, with I, some dudes. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's, too bad. that's too bad. Well, you a family man. You should be married in your heart, right? There. 
All right. Oh, that's good. Don't game. bring she that shit up. I don't want to be married in my heart. She be hypnotizing that motherfucker at the crib. I don't want to be married in my heart. All right. All right. So tell us. Uh, we're going to finish going around the table. So, so you're, if you're, it happened to your son. You know what? I, I agree. I would go with the lesser with lesser punishment because he did come. And my son is very honorable like that. Ain't that y'all, you motherfuckers ain't finna sit here in front of me act like y'all. No, I promise you. Hey, if I got a fucked up kid, I'm going to treat him like he a fucked up kid, though. <laughs> but I see, I'm just, you my don't second with child is like that. I know. Ain't that a disadvantage for me? <laughs> no, don't get it wrong. Now, now, if my kids, son say, Daddy, I didn't mean it, I'll be like, well, I guess. I <laughs> no, kids will be kids. What's now, your yes. name again? I mean, I mean, <laughs> but look. My second child that? is like Yeah, that. okay, I guess him, your daddy. We're going to take a quick break. We're okay. going to come back. We'll finish that up. 877-2106-106 is the number. Call in. Maybe you disagree. Maybe you say, fuck that. The first time you fuck up, you should knock their mother. This nigga thumped him in the head. Well, how come we didn't do that with Shanae? How come we didn't give her another chance? You know. Wow. <laughs> ah. There you go. Oh. Can't say that word on this radio station, Corey. Hoes and hoes. Oh. Got some hoes in this house. In the Inglewood <laughs> area code. Yo, it's your boy Speedy at Speedy's Comedy Corner and I'll be Speedy. Up in this. Be uh. <laughs> This stupid motherfucker. Don't forget, Conga Room. <laughs> I'm a hoe. Conga Room this Friday. Uh, at, it's called LA Live at I'm the Conga Room. This Friday from 5 to 8. Absolutely free. <laughs> the Foxhole radio station will be there uh, broadcasting live. Fox will be in the house. Come on out. It's absolutely free if you live in Los Angeles. October 30th, we had MGM Grand Casino in uh, Detroit, Michigan, MGM. between 5 and 8. Uh, bring canned goods, clothing, stuff that we can give away to other people who need them. All right. Come on, Mama. I can get Corey, you Corey, are you Come eating on, Mama, on my radio you. station, dog? I'm ghetto like that, man. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? Okay, I just sip. Yeah, you uh, don't eat on the Cleveland. <laughs> so, so how long you been in the business, baby? Been in business professionally. <laughs> now, somebody was on the computer and they wanted to look you up. What's up? Oh, they can Google me. Angel do, nigga? Games. Angel nigga, Games. Nigga, you say, what you do, nigga? Corey, right. I'm not on his level. Oh. I'm a beginner comic. Oh, you a comedian? Yes, Corey. Oh, I'm I'm so I, you know what? No, Corey, I'm so happy you did not know that because I know you've slept with many, so thank no, you so much. No, not a lot. Not a lot not of comedians. <laughs> that's, that's not a lot of comedians. It just I, made me you feel real honorable so, that Corey does I, not know who I am. Right, so I learned give, my give lesson about sleeping with female okay, comedians. Okay, Angel Games. You can Google it. Angel Games. A lot of stuff come up. Where you from, Great. fool? Where you from? Savannah, Georgia. Oh, so you, you, put, you, you put the shit in the food? You got some sweet tea in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you put the shit in the food? Don't act you like you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. You know about. we do voodoo. You yeah. Did, you didn't put you your know. underwear in, in somebody's spaghetti before? No, uh. but I get little dolls and I jab you every now and again. Oh. So you you at J-Spot? Yeah. I was um, at J-Spot. You got fired from there? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm one of the text message comics. That so that's what I heard. Wait a minute. Back the, the fuck up. That's what happened? What the fuck happened? That's how they fired comics. fired by text message. Get the fuck out of here. Not f- <laughs> you could be getting dressed. You get a text message. You are no longer needed. Thank you. Have a good day. Oh. Yes. From who? Jonathan Brown? Know, but he apologized. He did. He apologized. So did you give him a break because he apologized? Or you said still so fuck you, motherfucker. Yeah. Well, you I'm know shocked Jonathan Brown got a cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's, what, that's cool. what's interesting, Speedy, because I was talking to Angel earlier and we were talking about Because remember, Aries Spears kept calling. Now, where is he? It, where is he? I mean, this is the thing. This guy, Aries Spears. And I Aries know you listen to the show, show Aries. But Aries, you were saying you wanted to come up and push your DVD. And then Speedy and I got on the conversation about, well, the whole time you were on Mad TV. We were wondering, because I know I did warm up a couple of times, but we were wondering, you, you didn't really throw us many bones. No, he, but but that's okay, because there's a lot of comics yeah. who don't do that. But we wanted to talk to you about that, so call in. Yeah, please because call Angel So you can come back, Angel. Okay, like. thank you. Long as you, you, you keep back. your blouse pop like that. What, you know what, Speed? It's not a lot. You know it's, you're good, teasing. it's teasing. It's teasing. Charlie, you're going to get down. You're going to get down. Yeah, you got to do something. It's a cold world out here. Yeah, you got to do something. There's a lot of girls get off that Greyhound feeling like you, baby. Eventually, they be like, fuck this broke shit. Fuck this broke shit up. Anybody in this business, before you blow up, before anything happens, you got to blow somebody. Get a therapist. I got a therapist. Hello. Okay. So I'm not going to be in the about, Corey Holcomb line. You're going to get out, Shotty. It might not be with it. me. It might I be with somebody gonna... on your level, like Speedy, but I'm just going to get out. Krista, now, do you. Get out. <laughs> D- We're Ray. talking about this. Uh... <laughs> you know, Spanky Hayes. <laughs> <laughs> them bitches on Venice Beach get hard when you sleep on them. You gonna get out. Now, have you ever had? Show. You have you, hang with this Tabo girl and meet one of them. Show. Ones. Show. <laughs> have you ever had? Shut up, talking to me, Speedy. No, oh. we, we'll start with Krista. <laughs> have you ever had? Like, let's say a guy and he maybe drove your car and wrecked the motherfucker. 
do you accept the apology and you go, cool, I'm going to still date you because y'all usually do? Uh, or you just say, no, nah, that's it. No. You got to stay right on that mic. No, it, it doesn't minimize the fuck up, so I don't know why you would minimize the punishment. Yeah. So it's a punishment that you break up with him after he tell your car. <laughs> I love to drive you. <laughs> I would love to drive you. You know, I'm tired of this motherfucker. <laughs> I don't know how to break up with this bitch. <laughs> hey, let me use your car. <laughs> Frank, how about yourself, man? Let me get a little closer. Yes, please. Well, don't. my kids, they're like me. When I was a kid, I they're lied skinny. about everything. You lied, Dad. I'll be, I'll be so, honest. So you see them coming. They, see they, can't, they can't fool you. No, nah, they can't fool there you. But the, thing, the funny thing is, is you at least see them trying. That's the funny part. <laughs> you get a laugh about it and say, okay, I remember when I did Yeah, the when they did the same yeah. shit. Eight seven seven two one zero six one zero six is the number to call into. Corey's back in the house for all the haters who thought I kicked you off the fucking show. They were saying that shit. Oh, nigga, why, why did you go at uh, Johnny Mac so hard? It was a heated moment. He was talking about if he out with half naked bitches, he gonna motherfucker be taking up with half naked bitches. I, I there was a heated call, moment. I got phone calls, and they said, uh, "I think." Johnny Mac gonna get beat up, so I don't know. <laughs> no, no, no. You know, let me tell you something, man. Sometimes when you have conversations, it get heated. Thank you. It get heated, but the only problem I had, I just felt like uh, the the hooker chick was a little bold with some shit she did. Because you remember Speedy, the bitch came up Sinead, and lied. Sinead. Uh, oh, sorry. God damn. I'm sorry. Uh, that Lewis? wasn't me. That was what you gonna name? take a week off. She that ain't was... the only hooker. <laughs> you gonna get a week I off? I didn't say Sinead. Wait, wait. Lewis. All right, look. I bitch just, was up here starting rumors. Before. Whoever was. Whoever was. Yeah, the, the, the villainous whoever bitch. Yeah, you know. Cankerous whore. <laughs> Corey, you can't that say that. Jack Black. Tropic Thunder. 877-216-106. Your mother's a cankerous whore. <laughs> <laughs> also, too, don't forget, uh, we got two shows left Remember on I our tour. <laughs> <laughs> We're at the uh, Nokia Friday and Saturday. That's this Friday or something? Fine, Man. Fine, I'm going to fine. be in town. Watch this. I'm saying this on the air. Speedy, I want to come to the show. Ah, uh-huh, hilarious. <laughs> now, I'm going to say the way you would have said to baby girl. You got to fuck somebody, nigga. So, uh, see, that's y'all gay. ain't now, that's bullshit. Gay. <laughs> y'all ain't now, bullshit. Gay. Everybody get a ticket from me, nigga. Now, y'all ain't bullshit. Now, wait, man, that's what I'm saying. If I said that, it would have came off as gay. That was, that was gay. <laughs> what was that gay? That was gay, what you just said if before. If I was gay, Speedy, He's got to fuck ain't... somebody. I said nah, nah, nah. I said somebody. I could have said somebody. You would have said, oh, Louis, that's gay. Because you, you nah, gay, Louis. I'm not gay, Speedy. When you the last time you fucked? dreadlocks. You want to fling in your hair when you run. They're locks. Uh, when's the last time you fucked Lewis? It's been a while, so what? Fuck out of here. Lewis ain't. Like, y'all motherfuckers think Lewis don't be out here motherfucking getting some pussy out like y'all motherfucking <laughs> about. Oh, he I'm fucking his you. tailpipe, maybe, but he oh, oh. Hey, You know, yo, now, now, you, you ain't now, got that many Kayla. healthy years of fucking left. Kayla, w- would you would you get with Lewis Dix? <laughs> You gonna really put him out there like that? No, no. no I she's fine. She has children and a husband. And she is focused. She don't have a ring. Stay focused. I know, but <laughs> it's still. that type of Yeah, plus class. she don't have the rest of her sleeve, so we don't. Louis, what you get with? Angel's a nice lady. Thank she's young. you. She's young. She's young. How old are you? Angel? You know, she's under thirty. Um, so thirty-four. When's oh, your birthday? Wow. I just had one, September 25th. Well, happy birthday. Your kids, right? He was almost a virgin. Hey. You fucked that up. Who your kids live with since you moved out? Uh, Corey, I am so blessed to not it? even. You don't have no kids? No kids. Did you keep all oh. your receipts? And no. Fucking <laughs> 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 Corey. Oh, you suck, do you so, suck dick? Um, no. That's not why you ain't got no kids. Not at the moment. Not at the moment, no. You don't suck dick? Mm-mm. You focus on your career. That mean. I mean, you know, when the opportunity presents itself, you're perhaps, yeah, you no. know what I'm saying, Georgia. It's gonna happen. Oh, she from Georgia. You know. She get out. She get out. That's all part. I'm of just, shit. I'm just so proud she, not she to from, be. She uh, from big girl. What does Georgia no. have to do with she anything? From hey, Corey, you know he. I have never met a girl from Georgia. Uh huh. That don't rap on the Corey, mic. Corey, have you ever? Met, <laughs> <laughs> have you ever met a decent woman ever? Yeah, and that's what's the problem is so many women act like, you know what I'm saying? Know, you ain't meeting you. decent women. Right, thank You're you. You're meeting the same type. motherfuckers that everybody else with. I'm telling you, you just it's just different stages of <laughs> right. your typeness. That's right. all. <laughs> no, uh, you. Yeah, yeah, I think. You, might, you might catch the attitude or you might catch the broke one at the broke time, the one that thinks she's doing good because she's doing good, that she she's cheating on him with the real estate guy. Uh, uh, Lewis, right. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Wow, yeah. he's really putting it on out there, huh? I didn't realize he was in the real estate business. We are all over the 
to play. I'm saying, I used to date a doctor. Wait, I it can't was wait till the day. Corey, Corey, you I used have to a, date you a have doctor. A daughter? Do you have a daughter? Yeah, I got a daughter. And, I can't wait. And she gonna I get down too. <laughs> <laughs> she brought up with her mama. I can't uh, wait. I and, wish your daughter was, brought, was in my class. Nah, I really no, do, so no, I can let her know. Now said you you teach special ed kids. Exactly. Is she on the way to Corey? Is it? Actually, for real, my daughter is a straight A student. Get the really? fuck she out of here. I used to be a straight A student. Class. She don't live with hold you, on, right? Hold on, hold on. We're we going to hold this conversation. Right I here. swear I used to be a, stra- I I was a straight A student. I slapped the shit out of you. Look, you got to stop, Corey. I was a straight you know, A student in I grammar him. school. I believe him. You wrote you the A's. in grammar, grammar school? Was, <laughs> in grammar school. <laughs> and the reason I wasn't a straight A student in high school because you start getting smarter and the teachers start hating on you more. <laughs> oh, and my God. Teachers don't like you. Corey, you got to stop, dog. When you are intelligent enough to challenge them. You're not supposed to. Corey. I used to have this teacher. She used to come dressing real provocative. Corey, I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you this. We kids. You must have hit. Did you hit your teacher? Day. Why are you doing that to us? Corey, Did you hit? It, is that what it was? Did you no, hit with I your wanted, teacher? I wanted to hit this one teacher, and I told her the way you dressing is throwing off. That's why he didn't do it. How <laughs> old were you? How old were you? I was like exactly. a sophomore in high school, and uh-huh. I flunked that You don't know class. what that is? You don't what? Know how old you are when a you're sophomore? sophomore is 10th grade. No. Oh, I was a year <laughs> behind. By the time I was a sophomore. Corey, that's what I was gonna tell you. They gave up. Oh, you a year behind, you. but you got straight they A's. They gave up I on got you. straight A's in grammar school. I was a year behind. So how you a year behind, Corey? And My mama moved us around a lot. <laughs> no, you a dumb motherfucker. <laughs> okay, I'm dumb. Fuck it. I will tell you this. So I'll you did 12th you. grade twice. This is what I got to say. Let's say <laughs> his mama say kept this. moving around, leaving his books. Right. Hilarious. Let's say this oh, about. Okay. Let's say this about being dumb. You ain't got to be smart to fuck 80% of the women in this country. Corey, 80% of the women women in this country don't mind sleeping with you, Corey. It's not that deep. And you're not that 80%? Mm -mm. Well, you're right. I I won't won't speak on the I I wasn't going to fuck with you, but I was going to send somebody just like me at you (laughs) with a new outfit on. Bring it. Bring it. I love you. My experiment. (laughs) <laughs> One of the number call into Speedy's Comedy Coin. We back on the deck. We got new people on the show. Uh, everybody introduce themselves. Corey, say hi. Hey, this is uh, Corey Hogan, motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> hey, this is thank Lewis. you, Lewis. Hey, wait, also two in the house. <laughs> Ke- nigga, stay focused. Oh, Kevin Parker, this nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Kanika Conright, uh, trainer and extraordinaire. Christelle Johnson, Seattle. You supposed to be a manager, aren't you? Managing, managing Kevin Hart's uh, wife. Uh, le- I, I haven't seen her on anything. What are you doing? <laughs> Angel Gaines, comedian. I, I She's starting on she Twitter doing? right now. How is uh, what's going to do? Wife doing? Who? She funny? Who? Kevin Hart? Yeah. I, I like her. I like her tone. I've I haven't never seen really her. Haven't seen, seen her. her. I, I've been wanting to see her. Remember, she came up to your show. Yeah, no. But and then when Kevin stand-up. came on, he didn't want to talk about it. So that's when I knew she probably is. You trying to funny. clown me, a little Why, half a motherfucker? For someone who started, she's comedian. For someone who started, she's pretty funny. Oh. See, I think that's where Kevin stole all his material from. I'm just kidding. I like some David Letterman stuff. The crowd. You know what they need to do? They need to plant three guys with rings on at every job place that you think that you know what I'm saying, like uh, like some big company. Just plant three guys with wedding rings who are married and talk about their wife all the time, and let's study how many of the women they work that work there they get to the fuck. Still, that they still fuck. Yeah, they still fuck them. It's just the way it goes. They don't care if you're married. Well, look, they how many let, guys let me, do guys still hit on you? If you act like you love oh, your wife, yeah. they're gonna fuck you even quicker. I mean, when you put your ring on, they still get it. Oh, oh yeah. Let me fuck Do you put your ring time. on? Yeah. You know what? I you lost it. don't have his it. last name either, so I'm just confused right now. You know why? Because people know me under Conright. When you look up, when you Google my name, you Google Conright, my stuff comes up. But if you Google, Google my, na- my other name, my married name, nothing comes up. Do work well, that that's up. that's marriage. <laughs> well, that's what happens. Well, I don't want to lose my identity either. But you, you wouldn't lose your identity. he fell for all yes, that shit. Yes, I would. You created oh, That's one. another argument. No. That's another argument. Yeah, let's, that's what's, let's, let's, let's move on. Because, another. see, you know, women, it, it's, the whole I, traditional I don't thing that. is gone. If you yes. get married, why not change your name? you married. That's why you got married. It's hyphenated. It's only traditional when they get a divorce. That means she run, dude. No, yeah, I pretty don't. Much. <laughs> no, I don't. You don't think so? I know so. You ain't got his name. What his mama say about that? What a bitch, you good to have our name? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Don't bring our ass over here. <laughs> That's how it started. <laughs> I already know. You got your, but you are got you, your are, but wait, but it may be legitimate. Are you like the only child and you're carrying on the family name? I'm not the only child. No, I'm the only girl. You have brothers? I have, I have a younger brother who so, was top so 10 in the world in, in 100 meters. 
Okay. What's he his was. name? K. Ron Conroy. You can oh, go he, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember him. Yeah. Oh, you know my brother? No, but I'm just <laughs> playing it off. <laughs> hey, Billy Blanks, sister. What? Are you Billy Blanks? Sister? Sister? You Billy Blanks, Billy Blanks. Sister? Oh, no, oh, that's man. Irene Blanks. Oh. Oh, okay. What? My bad. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. You Billy Call Blanks. What y'all Blanks. trying to say? Also, too, uh, Corey. <laughs> Corey. What up? Who pregnant? Oh, Lord. Did you have fun on Claudia's show? I didn't go yet. Oh, you I haven't want, did I it. Want to so you did. Your, no, Zo, did you have fun on Zo's show? Yeah, I, I heard had you. Had a ball it. on yeah. Zo's show. Zo, yeah. you know he come, Corey. So what I'm saying to you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Zo come with the little intellectual boy. <laughs> intellectual. The people were calling in. They were expecting everybody to disagree with me, but what I said was the truth. Which about, was? You know, he was asking about all this stuff, and, and, and I said, no, it all boiled down to this: looks. It's your bargaining chips in America because we're not brought up right. We go off looks. That's true. Yeah, yes, we do. All right, out of uh, we're gonna take money. these phone calls now. Out of uh, Lorenzo, I mean shit. Out of Houston, work right? that English, Speedy. Yeah, work we got that Lorenzo English. on the phone. What's up, Lorenzo? Hey, what's up, Speedy? What's up, uh, Farco? Hey, uh, I just want to say, man, it all depends on uh, if the kid is a repeat offender or not. You know what I'm saying? Now, the first time, I, I, I take that honesty thing, you know. But then if, if you if you doing the same thing over and over again. You didn't learn how to work the system, you know. So that means now I got I got to switch it up on you, and now I got to whoop your ass or whatever you do. But I'm gonna tell you, I appreciate you telling me to get being honest with me, but you still gonna get your ass whooped, you know. I like that. I gotta, I gotta, yeah, I gotta do it like they do in the. Uh, I tell my kids, no man, look. If, if you go out there, if I go out there and rob a store, and if I tell the police, look, I did it, they still gonna send my ass to jail. Yes, so they are. You man, because they're not trying to help you. Huh? I said they're not trying to help you. Yeah, I appreciate your honesty. I appreciate your honesty. But now you still got to take your punishment like a man. So you want the man up, take your punishment, you know, and uh, then it's going to be over with. And then for that David Letterman thing goes, man, you know, uh, hey, man, they got a whole website dedicated to cheating. You know, that AshleyMadison.com. Hey, man, people cheat, man. You know what I'm saying? As long as he didn't deliver a a promotion... You know, uh, for sleeping with him, then I don't see what's wrong with it, man. And I don't see nothing wrong with him. Appreciate the phone call. Yeah, she was making 200000 a year to get fucked. Mm-mm. I ain't seen nothing It's wrong more respectable, her. like, if you get busted cheating and then you look at the girl, <laughs> you be like, what did I do with you? <laughs> if we go anywhere, all I did was fuck you, right? Like, shut the fuck up. I ain't sold you no dreams of baking Eight seven seven two one zero six one zero six. the number. We got a young lady on the phone out of Seattle. We got Lisa on the phone. What's up, Lisa? Easy pussy in Seattle, boy. Yeah. <laughs> hey, how you doing, Corey? Hey, oh, you shit. Doing? Sound oh. like she been there. Oh. <laughs> you sleep with the fan on, baby? <laughs> no. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> go ahead and answer the question. To. <laughs> Good. You sound like you're in shape, but you sound, you know, go ahead. Well, one thing is when you do the crime, you got to do the time, and that's all that there is to it. Yeah, I like that. It's what just, was the crime? Well, I mean, whatever. Have you so ever done something? Whatever, whenever you've done something uh, wrong. Have yeah. you ever committed, let's say, a, 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 a mistake? Unless you have a good yeah. lawyer. What have you done, Lisa? Have you ever had well, to I apologize mean, I, for something, Lisa? Yeah, I, all the time. I'm only human. No, no, no. Don't go what, with that What did you do, What did you what do? What game? What have I done? Yeah, have yes. you ever cheated on someone? Of course. Fucking see yeah, it. back <laughs> in, my, in my 20s, yeah. Okay, and did you yeah. hurt the guy's feelings? Did you apologize? No, I no. didn't apologize because I told him I was going to do it before I even did it. Oh, oh shit. see, oh, well, that's I like not you. Wrongdoing. No, that's I, not wrongdoing. I like you. Lisa, hey, I'm gonna you go fuck right your with friend. Me. All right, so. no, <laughs> but Lisa, what kind of? Wait a minute. You, did you her. like this guy? Did I like him? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Well, then why would you say something that hurtful and do that? Why would you even do that? I mean, that's mean. No, it's not. No, it's not. Is. She was being a friend. No, no, she, she knew the guy liked her. If your if your man is doing something and you tell him, look, I don't like that, and if you keep continuing to do it, I'm going to go somewhere else. I gave him fair warning. There like, you go. Okay, but wait a minute. So you extorted him? I, I, so was, <laughs> yeah. What was he doing? Was he messing with another girl? Crazy. He wasn't no, coming home. No, 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 no. We don't do that. No, wrong. he didn't do what she wanted him okay, to do. So, he was, so she what justified did he, what was her horrid act. Yeah, that's by no. saying that's why she did it. That's yes, the truth. That's what I'm no, saying. she told him up front. 
No, but she's right there. It's up front. So it's right his cho- it's his choice to say I'm not going to be with you anymore, or I thank you for the phone call. It depends on what he was doing. I bet doesn't matter. She's a whore. Her thing was like she said. I told him, hey, and then she went and fucked somebody else. Yeah, that's usually right. Yeah, and in Seattle, that wasn't hard to do. Hey, Speedy, let me tell you something though. If you don't have a relationship with your child, with your child. Um, is, if your child is a friend, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to put it the right way. If your child, no, no, nigga, if you your child is uh. afraid to approach you with problems, that's a bad thing. So beating your child's ass is not the answer I all agree. the time. Thank especially, you. No, I didn't I get agree. it. No, I didn't say but all the time, a, Corey. I'm saying, fuck up, I'm saying that if he come to, you, I'm a kid. I used, I mean, I used to be a kid. So I, 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 I you got to at least know that. The, <laughs> I'm saying I'm a kid. <laughs> yeah, at least understand that the thought pattern is. Here's a kid that's fucked up, and you said, "Yo, like he said, hey son, don't do it again." Thump him upside the head. So if I'm that kid, if he ever fucks up again, and you don't do more than thump him in the head, Lewis. Then, then you're failing as a parent. No, but no, I'm not, I no, agree. no, hold on, hold on, I hold on, agree. hold on. If you I'm let talking him about continue to fuck up. I'm talking about. Not, I'm not talking about if he cheat again. Let's say he does something else. Let's say he does something else, and he still stepped in and said, "Damn, Dad, I drove your car out the driveway. You told me fuck not to, that. and I hit the side I of the wall." No, but now Please. we're Second but time. now we're stepping as I said. The main issue right now is your character. That's what That's we're right. dealing with. So if you have lack of character, then we're gonna call you on that. But, and then but, I'm going to start where, saying things like, I don't, if he says something. So outside of the thump is what I'm saying. If your outside. punishment, hold on, was, was whatever you gave him right. and the thump on the head. The next time he does something wrong, let's just say he drives the car and he backs it out the way and you told him not to. And he goes, damn, damn, my bad. I backed the car. You told no, me not fuck to. That. You be like, you, are you punching him in the chest or is it another punishment? It might go there because you playing me now. You're yeah, you me playing me now. Shit. That's what I'm saying. But don't, wait. Don't do me like that. <laughs> David Letterman is <laughs> an see, adult. That's... You're talking about a kid but he, who he's trying to train. Wrong. All he's you did training. was fuck the bitches that's out there. All right, that's what they are. That's what they there for. That's what we have in here. It's against the rules. It's against company rules to have. That's why men and women shouldn't work together. Because women always going to flaunt their shit. Around men and try to come up. It's, but that's why you the, have self control, weakness. right? Corey got to You turn it into self control. <laughs> you have self control. If you have self control, no, you'll conduct control? your. Where is your hey, dick control? I, I well, just, all you um, Christian folk, you know what I'm saying? Flesh is the biggest temptation for men. <laughs> so but that's I'm your saying, excuse, and you running with But that? I'm saying, old girl is a whore. And she cannot get around that. That she know that man was married and all that. If he got control, she I is out you. the window. She is just as. She just doesn't have as much to lose. That's why she's willing to do 200,000. Hey, 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 here you go. You but here's the thing, too, Go I ahead, feel Lord. like, as far as with the, with your kids and how you, you know, as far as. And I don't want to make it a kid's or parenting. Well, I'm just saying. Even anybody, we're talking about the punishment. Even anybody, I think punishment is d- defined on what your action is. If you do something that's public, then you have to be reprimanded publicly. Because everyone okay. else needs to understand you can't Fuck do that. that. I'm not apologizing to my wife on TV in front of my. No, no, I'm this. talking about no. When That's he what acted. David Letterman did, right? Didn't yeah. he apologize? But he's a public like, figure. He's yeah. a public Who figure. Who gives a you shit? Have this is my wife. Responsibility and accountability to the people who put you on that big flat screen. No, you, no, you don't. Yes, no, you, you do. Don't. You don't no, know don't nothing why. about Hollywood. You don't. Get, <laughs> you don't <laughs> earn those spots. Those spots are given to the people they want to have them. So I don't care how many guys you sleep with. That don't she mean you go get up. Yet, exactly. I'm telling that to all women in That's general. Corey, man. Corey. And what goes on in the bedroom stays in the bedroom. If you oh. fuck for a bed, like some people do, hey, Corey, that don't mean you're going to have a bed. That just means you're going to have a bed. Let me get this phone call later. Stupid bitch. We got a uh, phone call out of Pennsylvania. We got uh, Jeremy on the phone. What's up, Jeremy? Jermaine. Hey, how y'all doing tonight? What's up, Jermaine? Hey, uh, Louis Dix, man, you did a good job last week on Voice of Reason. Man, you did an excellent job. Oh, now, thank as you. far as David Letterman is concerned, uh, you know, Speedy, you always talk about it's not a black and white thing. In my opinion, it is. He got in here and said that he apologized for sleeping with his interns. He just got a slap on the wrist. He didn't lose no endorsements, no sponsors. Mm-hmm. But look at what happened to Kobe Bryant. Same situation. Well, he kind of uh, well, raped someone in the ass. He didn't well, rape nobody. Didn't rape. That's a bitch who belongs to the streets. That bitch got all kinds of semen in her drawers. Go ahead, dog. <laughs> but, but the situation is different. It's still the same principle. You still cheated on your wife. Look what happened to him. He lost the right. adjustments. He wasn't married he wasn't when he messed with the girls, we just found out. So Who wasn't married? David Letterman. David Letterman. He wasn't Letterman. married when he was messing with them. Or oh, he didn't get There's caught. Well, it's still a common law marriage. You know, after seven, eight years, the courts still recognize 
coming right now. Pretty much. Really, he was still good phone call, man. This is a good phone call. There you go. Uh, uh, right, yeah, thank you. I don't know if the Kobe line up because Kobe fucked in the ass. <laughs> the, bitch, the bitch opened her asshole up. Yeah. <laughs> when you go in a hotel thank room a with call. a man, you might leave out that motherfucker with something pulsating you don't want pulsating. Here's the difference. So, so if a girl come to your room after the show, Corey, what, if, that, what does that mean? If my daughter told me that nice. she got raped in a hotel room, I'm going to laugh at her and say, you a lousy bitch. No, you're not. No, you're no, not. Who ain't? No, oh, Corey. Corey. How the fuck somebody going to tell me they got raped in a hotel room? Are you fucking serious? Well, you can get raped in a hotel room. You, you cannot get, get raped in a hotel Wait a minute, room. Corey. Just because you're in the hotel room does not allow you to be raped. Listen. All right, that's you not are, true. If you I don't care how late you're in the hotel room. You don't come on my body and rape me. That's that's clear. If you're in the hotel body. room with Mike Tyson, hold on, Lewis, hold on. is it okay? <laughs> Lewis, See, I knew you were going to go there. I'm coming out the bag. Go I think Lewis has been raped in a hotel room. I knew you going to go there. I knew. No, he got mad because the motherfucker <laughs> came on his body. <laughs> no, I knew y'all going to go there. I knew <laughs> I you had on the car, though. Like, if he'd had on a card, it was cool. He oh. said we were just going to play cards. <laughs> <laughs> he said, if you don't come on my body. <laughs> I know what you meant, dude. That's but not I what I meant by the big blind. Mike Tyson. Oh, no. So you was uh, watching the game and nigga just came on your shoulder. <laughs> uh, Corey, just because you, you, you mentioned Mike Tyson, he actually was on Oprah talking just recently about his Oprah, experience in jail. and uh, Oprah. You know, interviews who? Oprah interview mm-hmm. Oprah interviews. Winfrey mm-hmm. likes to interview crazy black people Hold on, so she can Lewis, make them look Lewis, stupid Corey. cause no, look at the people she's interviewing Corey. he has a documentary Corey, Corey wait Corey wait can we finish Cause okay he, my bad I just it. don't like Oprah but yeah, go ahead go <laughs> you from Chicago so a nigga came on you. <laughs> oh my God! No, nobody come on your body. A guy comes Sadie's on your crying. body. No, that's <laughs> not what I said. Sadie's crying. I got cut that's off. Funny. That's not what I said. I, oh my God. I'm not said, even gonna try to make my point. You anymore. said we gonna play it back. This no. show gonna play tomorrow. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you said it's rape if someone comes on your body. No, I said what I was gonna tell Gordon. I said you tried, you're trying to tell. So you went to the room. No. Say it, what I meant. Say what that, I meant. Fix what it. I meant okay. to say was. All right. So then. Corey, you can't call Rachel. You're saying if Hold Corey, on. if you're so in you the went room. to Bill Cosby's room. No, oh. no. Oh. This is not Jello. He shoot the pudding on your body. He's Doc and Law. It's separate. But, uh, nah, nah, hey, man, listen. If you're so a woman, you, you got no business. You and Sinbad was in the room. Now, stop, hotel room. man. Stop. <laughs> but a man can you go to the hotel room. Bob, so Spencer, who came right? on and your body? okay. No. Right, and, and let me tell you something. You're not a man. It, let me tell you something. The only thing that protects you from men is them worried about going to jail. A man can take some pussy from you if he want to. And he, he should go to jail. Okay, cool. We're not going to go there. I'm just saying. We're it not going to We can't go there. I would tell my daughter, don't go nowhere alone with no man. With no sticks. Right. Well, Lewis, he was, did, he'll he'll ask, come on your body. He'll keep asking. You know, Lewis, <laughs> come on. Come just, on. Girls get him pussy, it. so he'll stop asking. Yeah, motherfucker, leave me alone. <laughs> I'll give it to Lewis though. He he get in there and get his Mac on, but it's it's a little stalkish. You you a little it's a little predatorial <laughs> kind of shit. Because wow. then he'll come back and go, Speed, what do you think of her? Uh, the bitch you got tied up? Right. <laughs> passive, I guess she's okay. Norman <laughs> Bates type yeah. game. Oh, <laughs> Uh, a lot Come of women on say, your body. But that's it is right. She say, so if you're a man, you get yeah. It's the difference between we'll, men we'll, and we'll women. We'll get to that next time. All right, so I gotta, <laughs> that's a great topic. I, yeah, I know we're gonna definitely do that. So, uh, Taylor, you are gonna be on the show on a regular? Topic. You gonna come? To the I would love to. Really? Yeah. Well, what What is she bringing to it? Well, what are you bringing to it? Nothing. That's Other what my yeah, no, What are you doing, uh, man? Uh, that's how <laughs> women do. They, they just switch it all. Well, you know, you gotta think on top of your head. Gotta keep it going. Gotta keep it moving. So you really are still married. No. See, she's not married. You're, so you're not being honest. You're asking anyone else. Oh, me. my God. I mean, you don't have to put all your business you out there, but you just straight us. lie. We're you separated. and Lou Brock are so divorced? So now here's the We're thing. Separated. So should we, His name is should we, should we give separated. her a pass thing? for being up Tarn. front? I gave her the ultimate pass when she told me she was married to a baseball player for 14 years, but now. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Now, that, <laughs> Wait a minute. You are who I thought you were. Yeah, but you know what? Let me tell you now. something. Can we give her a let break? Me, no, you better. I'm going to tell you why. And we let him up. Because I, I, I was a him. rider. Can't coach I him. am a rider. Okay. Because he exactly what we're talking about is exactly what I went through for 14 years. But and, you know what? And, and, it's, wait, and on, we're still, on, we're on, still on, together. Hold on, let me ask you this. We're still together. But we have to work it out. Katie, let me ask you this. 
to work these things you out. You knew you was fucking a ball player. You knew you was about to get married. Hold on, let me finish. Wait. Fucking somebody knew, with options. You knew Hold a on. nigga with options, a ball player. You met him when he was young. Keep it real now. You knew damn well them bitches be throwing, even at the baseball game, they be throwing. How do you not Bad think bitch. that your man not going to fuck around? Okay, that's a great question. Let me answer it. So in, in college, I was doing my thing too. Doing, and I have my own group. You play pro I, baseball I in college? We see it in no, you. She played pro, <laughs> no, she played pro uh, track, pro track. And field. track and track. Field. Track I mean, track. That wasn't in pro college. at the time. It was NC2A. No. Oh, okay, but, cool. but the question okay. was. The question but, was but, but then that's where, that's where we met up. He was before. already in the league. Okay, so I gave up my career but you, to be with him. But you had more money. Well, you're no. going to the Olympics? <laughs> yeah, what? You were going to the Olympics? That was But wait a minute, hold up. It's a contradiction because you just said. You gave up your career, that but yet earlier it. you said As. you needed your identity. That's why you didn't take his last name. Well, that's so why. So make because, up your mind. Well, let me, ex- let me explain that. Are you that. fully committed or are you just waiting no, to see what plays off? I always kept my name. I always kept Conroy okay. Stash Brock. Okay? Go get him. Uh-huh. Go get him. Now, the reason why I did that is because I want to always make sure that my information never disappears. And when you take on his name, when you're not sure if it's going to work or not, you want to keep your own identity. Exactly. She said it. But right. remember, I'm married to a ball awesome. player. No, no, no. no, 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 no. I'm married to a I, ball player. Differ. When you get married, so you your he... information is together. Right. It don't disappear. No, it doesn't. I wish my information did disappear on my divorce why? papers. Why? why? Everything you I must did was on a... that damn thing. <laughs> you <laughs> had a bad experience. I ain't no. mad at you, baby. You a hustler. And I like That's that. That's what I'm saying. But back to my original Question. With her, but though. you know what? I can stand on my own. I didn't need him. No, nah, I you need no, his money. I don't. You can't no, take no, care no, of the kids. No, you don't. Let me tell you something. No, no, no. Let me tell you something. Because he's a minor off. leaguer. He's God. a minor leaguer. And what, what all God. these people don't understand about he pro ball venture. players, no. What you don't he understand about pro ball players, yeah, now he does. But, but. I was with him when he was didn't have anything, and so I was a sole supporter of all of that. Wait, but see, wait, so when, when you see, oh, right, we got, we got to go. We got to. Uh, this shit is off the chain. Yeah, but see, you got to, you got to have this topic. Like you, can't you, chop the, you can't but, chop the man uh, but, down because when you said when you were lying, you were married. Up, he was up here. Make it another Before topic. we got to this, I said she didn't even have his name. She run him. Hold on. But you didn't answer the question. What's the question? Which was you knew he was a ball player. <laughs> you know he gonna get his fuck on every blue some moves. How do you yeah. get? How do you be surprised when you find out there's a girl on the side? Seriously, I was, You know what? I took his word for it. I took his word that Fuck he wasn't that. gonna. No, 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 no. I did, and he was like, "No, it's all good." And then I was like, "Okay." Oh, you didn't understand him. He was I saying, I, was, all I was, was good." 22. No, I was, he was twenty-two. Telling you all of it was good. I was twenty-two, and he's and I knew him in high school, so I thought he was a good guy. You know what? Right. No, you know what? Like I've been, but you know what? I've been with you. Let's get to No, you, no the yours was different. No, no, no. But your I'm wife saying, played pro baseball. <laughs> <laughs> no, what I'm saying is that when you know someone, all depends something, on what kind of gold baseball you talking about. You did <laughs> no, because Louis, yours is different. But you know what? I didn't know what I was your, getting myself your into. Your husband. I mean, your oh, husband. don't oh, be no. Get off that night. I didn't. Ah, you can't say that. I didn't. You know what? You know what you get to when you're consulted with that lawyer. Don't say it. No, boy. You know what? You have you have really gotten burned. I'm so sorry that that happened. To you. Hey, you're on your way. Caleb, Caleb. Go down that yellow yeah, brick no road. Idea. How much did you get in the settlement? Oh, no. It's we haven't separated. settled anything. We I hope they stay together. I do. What does that mean? We, get back we, you know, it's a lot of things that went down, so we have to just try and work things out. So what does that mean? They you don't get, get no money? That means the other I'm girl. not interested in his money. When he when I walked away, I walked Corey, away with money. Do we got a lot no, of money? No, he was in the majors, too. Oh, so man. when I walked away, I walked away with my stuff. I heard Tina Turner. He was one of them dudes that run out there when somebody do something good, right? No, he was the one in the center field running against the walls. For the Dodgers? Yeah, you trying uh, to say he was, he was a master? With the, with the cup. No, with were you, were was you always faithful to him? Were you always faithful? I was. Always. I was. Oh, my God. Yeah. Stop this interview. Stop it. <laughs> it's full Fine. of bullshit. You think it's, you it's know, all right, you know what? Dylan. I want to see Hold what's on. on the public records. We'll read. Go ahead. She goes to baseball baseball, baseball next week, is America's next week, sport. It'll be about your world. You really want to know about it. We're going to bring you to the table. Yeah, because you said you was married for 14 years. And Let's go. credit. Let's go. And you straight up lied and said that ain't no damn lie. We asked you. Let me get this phone call. You should have just not answered. Louis, let me get this. I'm going to come to your Tybo class and Watch I would how you love get to down see you. Sexy I don't even believe you do Tybo. I think you're just a liar. There's a dude named Tybo. I want to get Lewis in there so bad. I would love to have you there. Uh, at one thirty. Uh, All right, on the phone. <laughs> Is that wet? Yeah, it's thinner and thinner. Keep it up, y'all. Gonna be wet. So, is your T cell coming up? 
<laughs> Did he just say what magic. I think he said? Yeah, I said something nasty. So mm. what? What'd you say, look? I, I thought he was saying clean saying and wholesome. I am clean and wholesome. I, what I said was not nasty. It was did you it. jack off somebody's body? That something like that. that. He's like he was going to come on something. No, I did not use that word. See, that's why you're separated. You're misquoting the man. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Let me get this call in. We out of D, uh, D out of Chicago. What's up, dog? D? Dre. That's D. Hello? Dre, what up, man? Oh, what's, what's up, Dre? Uh, hey, check it out. Hey, Corey Oakham. What up, who this? Hey, where you from, man? What what part of Chicago? I grew up in Robert Taylor Homes. Then my mama got a Section 8. We went to the <laughs> North Side. <laughs> I went to CN High School. What up? You ain't got to say no more, Robert Taylor, man. That's what I got to say, man. You can take you can take a nigga out the hood, Joe, but you ain't never going to take the hood out the nigga, man. Yes, I'm sir. I'm right. be speaking that real Chicago, you know what oh. I'm saying, hood talk to where all us Chicago niggas can relate to that shit. And it's like these little L.A. motherfuckers be hating this shit because they can't relate to it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you so know I what? You... Say, Corey, Corey Holcomb's a real nigga. And my man, my man, uh, Louis Dix, man, you still hurting over your wife. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, let me say something. I understand that whole, you know, that whole tough thing was interesting because the other night I was watching the, the, the thug guys and they had Chaz Williams from Chicago and they had Felix Mitchell from Oakland. These big time drug dealers and, and pimps and all Don't that. Get your ass and I watched man. the whole thing. Okay. So my thuggish is coming. Oh. Yes, because I, Felix was a, mm, and Chaz Williams. But you know what, you got that, you got I'm just glad you got your cable turned back on. Remy thug type (laughs) stuff. You know, the the, the, the little boy, yeah, Remy, the dude who, uh, he was on that movie Higher Learning, (laughs) and everybody gets kept fucking with him, and then he Oh, the skinhead talking about Michael Rappaport. Michael Rappaport. No, no, I'm much cooler than that. I'm much cooler than that. What's that other dude in that other movie? Uh, Louis, are you over your divorce, man? No, he's not over. No, no, man, it's a Really simple. Are you really over? No. Yes, I actually, I had a conversation with my ex today, and we were talking about. That lets you know you ain't over if you yeah, still yeah, talking to her. That's the only person you talk to. You never speak about no, nobody no, no, else. No, no, let me Where's tell you, the females in your life, Lou? Where's the females? They're yeah. in their place. Uh oh. What the fuck? Hey, That's some real shit, because this girl was like, why you don't never take me to the movie? I was like, I got bitches for that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't that one. Hey, that's that ain't you. They all can't. Wow. You know, you reach a point when you realize that <laughs> one female really can't just handle all the stuff if you're a single guy. They can't. It's too much for him. Lewis is hurt over his wife, and that's okay. No, I mean, not, is that the only woman? Is that the it's only woman years. you ever married? Yes, the only time well, I was I married. Well, I can see him still being hurt. I mean, look, after sixteen years, I'm not three years. Trust me, I'm fine. You all trying to make it? I'm it just takes going with half the, the amount of time that you were together. The half of that time to get over. That's amazing. It all takes, you people who are not married, shut right? Up. That what is the heck? true. Hence why we're not bitter and hurt. I see the pain in my man. Yo, no, don't get it twisted. We saw it in you at one time. Oh, I was very upset and hurt. No, and you were suicidal. No. You were suicidal. I wasn't suicidal. If you had a gun, somebody around you would be dead. Some other, but, huh? Check his wrist. You, yeah, yeah. Uh-oh. No. He's well, not a cutter. He doesn't look like a cutter. Here's the thing like you got to realize. I no. had, I had, Lewis I had looked a, like he'll no, I had some outlets. jack off on your body. When you guys, What's your <laughs> outlet? What I, outlet? I coached middle school kids. I coach. So you touch kids. I don't even try it. What if she called you one day and said, he just left. I want you to come over and do it the way we used to do it. Would you? Over there. Oh. Would you, Lewis? No, I would not. Yes, you fucking would. <laughs> you fucking liar, though. You know not. what? Nobody knows. She doesn't know nobody, or you don't know anybody like she does you, and back and forth. Meaning, meaning that that is going to be the greatest sex ever. So, in other words, <laughs> are you trying to plant a seed for your, your baseball no, player? No, my, my husband and I still have sex. Yes, we do. You do? I, well, I would... Nobody knows me like he does. So, so, so do you, wait, 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 hold on. Hold on, Kay. Do you do other guys? Yeah, no, she, no, she just no, said no, no, she no. fucking do no, other guys. No. Why are you putting her on the spot if you just let her talk no, shit come out I the don't. bag? No. <laughs> let her spill it all. No, I don't do anybody else. It's amazing he how knows women, me. It's amazing how women can say that and people will say, okay. No, right. he guy knows said that, me. A guy said that, no way. So I don't believe you. But You've you already lied. It's just like the no, I didn't. Say. How can we believe you when the first you can time you any... didn't tell the truth? You know what? I'm still Your considered married. Gone. No, I'm still married. Okay, that's what wait. you should have said up front. I'm still married. No, but I don't need to that... let you know my exactly. business like that. Who are no, you? No, but no. what? Well, she got a different kind of separation. This is an yeah. interesting separate. You a new? 34 year old female comic with nobody? You be quiet. <laughs> oh, you know, and I wouldn't take that, Corey. I swear, if I had to choose between you and nobody, I would choose nobody. If you and Lewis is the best that I can do, I'd rather be by myself. I see the please come be with me after the show. (laughs) Don't make me show you how lonely you are. 
Corey. Corey. I swear to God. I'm confident. I swear to Y'all, she's God. very pretty. She's I, pretty, too. I don't think you. she has to I do that. I swear to God, Corey. If I, 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 had I agree sit, she's a pretty girl, I don't but think she if has I to left do your house, that. Corey, you ain't give me no pussy. I will be something. rolling my motherfucking eyes. Like, I don't eat it. Nah, <laughs> yeah, no. Nah. I'm with you. You're not going to. That's not going to happen. All right. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, so do, you, <laughs> oh, so do you have a man? Fuck no. <laughs> no, shit. I just broke up with somebody. How you break up with a rock? I just, I did. He we just dropped you off is what happened. No. We were together a year. I just broke is up. How long ago? I'm feeling a little Lewis right now. Is, is he Bitter? a comic? Is he no, he's not a comedian, no. What's no, he do? No, no, no. He works with networking and, you know, the internet and all okay. that kind of whatever. Uh, yeah, it's just a internet, corporate yeah, yeah. job, you know what I mean? Yeah, he, it's he's not a, that. He's a male clerk. So you say. I mean, it's nothing, he's a male clerk. You right. know. Male? Professional <laughs> Facebook. <guy. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker always on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. 24-7. You know. He talk to people when he jog in the morning. He's a friend adder. <laughs> Say that again. He's a, a friend. A friend adder. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hilarious. He's a That's word. Word. I can, the I can, word of the day. Don't fuck that up. Really Don't fuck that joke up. Hold on. A friend. You haven't been in adder. LA that long, and it's obvious because this confidence that you have is very misplaced. Corby, you won't shake <laughs> me ever. I believe I won't shake because you because I believe that there are guess, men. Who don't think like you? We and have you Barack 34. Obama. When are we you gonna Barack realize? Obama. When you have to be 54 like, before no you way. realize. You know what? There Corey no was fucking way. right. All and he want Obama is some pussy for me. Lived in Chicago. There is no way you can tell me this is the conversation. What does he, he have to do with you being single? Because I'm saying there is a man that don't think like that. Uh, yeah. Obama yeah. had a beer. With a motherfucker that arrested his boy. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I'm not shitting on Obama, but that's some weak ass shit. If me and him was somewhere kicking it out, I'd be like, hey, so let me ask you something, dude. <laughs> well, you invited dude over for a beer. Was that like some political But Corey, shit your mentality can't be in any board room with a tie on. Nothing. Well, that's not true. Your mentality. Oh, that's Find not true. me one successful person. The dude with we've your been talking mentality. about all damn Me. Oh my God! <laughs> you are a professional Corey, serial Corey, baby dad. Corey, tell him what you're doing, though. Oh, Corey, oh. tell him what you're doing. Hey man, Steve. listen. The Cleveland Show was the number one debut for a cartoon in the history of cartoons. Damn. Okay. And that was that was. Now, your voice, did you did your character yeah. do that that first, first one? Show. Oh yeah, the, the pilot episode. I'm I'm Cleveland's girlfriend, baby daddy. So I get to talk did, a lot of shit. Did you use shit. your voice, or you switch it up a little bit? No, oh, I use voice. my voice. People oh, okay. can tell it's me. Now let's let's go to the real point. Here. And Corey, hold on, what's yeah. the point? He got picked up for a second season today. Oh, that's what? great! Cleveland, Cleveland, Cleveland show. Congratulations, man! Congratulations! Wait I knew you. they were gonna get picked up for a second season because dude, who fuck it is the voice right. of the Family Guy. Fucking, he is Fox Television uh, right now. I knew that she was gonna get picked up. So, so good. all right, so uh, hold on, Lou. Okay. Tell me what else you're doing, uh, Corey. Oh man, a lot of road work, man. I just got back from this show at BSU where uh, I'm embarrassed to say this. It really happened yesterday. A girl. I thought um, she was being arrested, but what happened, she had a seizure while the show was going on. Oh. I'm serious. So wow. I actually That's was enough, proud. Man. So you upset wow. her that much? Yeah, I made her laugh so hard. She, to, she forgot to stop take her the inhaler. Shaking. Right. She take her inhaler. Yeah. All right. Uh, My uh, bad, Lu sick girl. Louis, what you doing? <laughs> Lou, what are you doing? Oh, um, Friday, we're all at the, um, the LA Conga Room. Uh, the Conga Room uh, LA Live. Yeah, I'll get there a little late. I it's think. absolutely free. We want everybody to come out between 5 and 8. Get there about 4 30. Free drinks, free food. Get your drink on the whole night. Uh, okay, and um, I'll be in Detroit uh, with everyone. I'm looking forward to that. De Detroit, uh, October 30th. We're at MGM Grand. Uh, bring canned goods, bring jackets, yeah, bring jackets, toys. Because yeah. them motherfuckers need it in Detroit, boy. Yeah, we're going to give right. them out to the kids. Out there. Downtown went out of business. Oh. And Saturday, we'll be down at the Hacks at 12 o'clock, uh, yeah, handling some game. business, handling some games. And then that the night, I'll be uh, with friends. Are you playing? Yes, I got skills. Don't sleep on me. Yeah, we had to get speed of 7X. Don't sleep on me. Girls, <laughs> in, <laughs> girls in Detroit, stop selling yourself short like that. I should know. There's no way I should have got all that for $50. <laughs> oh. Kev, okay, tell them what you're doing, dog. Uh, it's uh, time to shoot a bunch of pilots. I'm shooting one with John Sally tomorrow and uh, Dan What is he Elliott. doing? I can't talk about it just yet. Why you guys keep but, wasting uh, money on John Sally? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs>
serious, man. I mean, serious, man. Cut, cut. That was fucking me, I mean, dude. The only thing Sally could be man. doing is a talk man, show. Don't worry, well, man. Sally, I mean, seriously, we'll man. hire you for warm Let up. Be a coach or something. And Let that's another thing, Kevin. You keep coming here with these pilots. You ain't called me on shit. I've been knowing you for a long time. How many failed pilots have John Sally had? Wow. wow. Oh, I mean, with all the respect. What did make your John career. Sally do to you? I like John Sally. Did, like did, hold on, hold on. Did John come on your body? No. Oh! <laughs> no, I like John. See, John, if John was sitting here, John would sit here. Oh. I'd say the same thing to him, and he'd have you a comeback. But all right, so, and he'd uh, probably say, what's your name again? <laughs> You, you, now you better be cool now. You know, showrunners change. <laughs> <laughs> and they still don't hire you. Caleb, tell me what you're oh, doing, baby. Tell me how to get, to. Trying to get it back together with a hug. Go ahead, baby. <laughs> no. I own a Tybo studio on Ventura and Reseda. Come on out and have a great workout. Yeah, and then let them look. And when you go down there, say, hey, I'll listen to the Foxhole, and you would give them a hookup on the price? You Absolutely. Should, you should video Mention Foxhole. I'm sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. I no, no, go ahead. Mention Foxhole, and we will give you a great discount. Oh, that's cool. Videotape when you and your husband have arguments. People will buy that because it's riveting. You know, I can't talk about it, but they, you should they, do it. They, no, 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 they are. They like when you go off together. Together. Why you had the bitch in the car? Shit like that. People <laughs> like that shit. <laughs> Hilarious. You know what? He's matured past that now. Oh, he rented the bitch a car. No, no, I, yeah. They meet him at the hotel. Yeah, they do actually. <laughs> you know what? I can sit here and talk to you about a whole we lot of stuff, do, but you guys should know that. You getting back together, boy. We know, get together, we you know what you're going together. through. Chris, Chris the hotel bar. Chris, the bitch. tell him what you're doing, man. Uh, I'm really not doing anything right now. Oh. I told you. I, I All Star Weekend coming up. You can get some money down there if you want to. <laughs> That ain't right. I'm trying to put her up on wow. game. You ain't got to be broke. <laughs> I'm on got vacation. To be broke. You're on vacation for promoting. Okay. And me? how do people see you or <laughs> on the internet or whatever? Uh, you can see me on Facebook or MySpace or Twitter. Uh, what is it? MySpace you need a friend at her? Chrissy Tell. No, I need a friend at her. Hilarious. What is it again? It's Facebook slash Chrissy Tell. C R I S S Y T. And she really and, talks like that, yeah, everybody. She does. And, and Kay, give yours again. You didn't give your. My address, yeah. 18421 Ventura Boulevard at Shape It Fitness. Come on out and have a great workout. You guys have a website? I do. It's at www.itsallyoufitness.com. You know we don't use the W no more. Well, itsallyoufitness.com. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Frank! Yes, sir. Talk to me, Mike. Humor Mill Magazine. You got to get right on that microphone. Humor Mill Magazine, humormillmag.com. I'm always doing it. And you fellas see me out every night. Corey yeah. can say the same well, thing. That see me fucking camera. Just every hey, Corey, night. stand there. I'll be at all the time. This motherfucker bugging the I'll fuck out of me. Yeah, I should <laughs> so, so if somebody wants to. Uh, now, is there actual magazine magazine? Yeah, we're going to so print they wanna, this month. They yeah. want to subscribe to the magazine. What do they do? All you do, Humor Mill Mag, type, go to that website, type in your email address, and you'll be part of our 1.3 million. Oh, shit. Wow, now he's going to be doing some stories on, like, who? Jamie Foxx, and you're going to get Sinbad? We got Shang right now on the cover right now. Who? We already did Shang. We did Shang. We How got, far back did y'all pull with the camera? Wait a minute. Okay, which question? Wait a minute, that's your launch? That's your launch? No, no, no. The uh, print oh, one is not going to be our launch. I'm not going to say, man. You should be launching the no shame. I'm not, man. You can at least have John Sally on the Lewis cover. Lewis was. <laughs> <laughs> Sally was on the cover. Sally was on the cover. Sally was on the cover. We did that, you know. Angel, tell them what you're doing, baby. Um, I'm going to leave here tonight and start my anti Corey Holcomb campaign. <laughs> <laughs> Stand up if you are a dude who that's is not like Corey. I, I want a million man not on Corey March. That's clever. I okay. like that. Okay, I want that's any cool. man out there that's listening. They had please. that. It was on and Santa Monica Boulevard last year. And not gay. Oh. <laughs> and not gay. I need a man oh. that is not gay oh. to, to holler at me on Facebook. We're going to start a website called I Am Not Corey Hokum. And, and how do okay? they get in touch with you? And they go to Facebook, look up Angel Games. I'm there, and you can add me without help. Add a friend. Oh. <laughs> exactly. What is it called again? You'll get a whole uh, lot uh, of goofy I want a lot of them, too. I'm not like Corey. <laughs> All right, check this out, man. Don't forget, uh, this Friday, we're at the Conga Room at LA Live. From 5 to 8, it's absolutely free. You don't have to pay for anything. Free drinks, free everything. We're going to be in Detroit City October 30th. Uh, at MGM Grand Casino, you can t- uh, and so make sure y'all get there. Bring gifts that we can give away to kids who who need them. Uh, also, too, you, I'm on Twitter. You can hit me up. Uh, Speedy is funny. Speedy I Z funny. Uh, I'm fo- I'm sorry I don't follow dudes, but you know. That just, the, that just did. I don't the Corey that. Holcomb at Twitter. I guarantee you I'm gonna say some shit to make you <laughs> hate your bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and Corey. Thank you for coming through. Of course. Because, uh, you know, the motherfuckers thought I had truly kicked you off the show. I, they I, thought I had it. I, I do got it like that. 
but me and you go back way far. This is far. your show. Yeah, you but know I, what I mean? Yeah, but we go back way far. Yeah. Yeah. But it was kind of weird that one day I let you do it, nigga, and the whole motherfucking world came down that day. But, Did it? Yeah, oh, it yeah, is. that is crazy. It, it is Speedy's That's Comedy Corner. That's girl who sell pussy for bed. Would you stop? It's Speedy's <laughs> Comedy Corner. I want to thank everybody for listening to the show. Uh, next week, <laughs> we back up in this piece. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to Miracle for making everything happen at the last minute. Thank you, Miracle. Make sure you hit us up. We on the road. We doing it pace. live. Don't forget, go see Jay Fizzle this weekend. Oh, it's off the chain. I got to get out of here. Speedy's coming to the corner. And I'll be Speedy. Up in this. Bed for a purse. Wait.